let us now talk about workbook events one by one so the first one is activate now what is the meaning of activate see when I go to VBA editor in my workbook I can go to this workbook object and then here on the workbook by default it adds a workbook open method but you can select from here whatever event you want to add I want to add activate event I can delete this one and I can keep only the activate event here so whenever that event occurs this sub procedure will get executed since this is blank nothing is happening as of now but we can write our code inside so for example I just uh, pop up a message box saying hello uh, activated or you can say workbook activated fine so this is uh, this is a message box that will pop in whenever this event will occur now if I go to my Excel file again uh, I'll tell you the difference between a sheet workbook and the application see all these which you see here these are different sheets of one workbook right here if you look at the top right corner you see minimize uh, restore and close and under that again you will see minimize restore and close now why there are two one is for application the other one is for workbook if you restore this you can see this is my first workbook which is having multiple sheets here one two three right this is the worksheet uh, workbook which I was working on there is another workbook which I am uh, currently I uh, have uh, opened uh, which I am not currently working on but there is one workbook here and there is third workbook also which is here so there are three workbooks you can see here I have three files open so the, that means three workbooks open whenever I switch from other workbook to my workbook which is the activate event for that workbook it will uh, execute the message uh, the the method which we have written so it is giving me the message box that hello when the workbook has been activated similarly there is a event for deactivate now let's see how to use deactivate event so instead of activate if I change it to deactivate or I can also go here and select deactivate event and then I can put up my code so you can say hello workbook deactivate it now see here if I again restore I am currently on my workbook at a time only one workbook would be activated I switch on to the other workbook as I switch on to other workbook it gives me a message box saying that the workbook which you were working on has been deactivated and now the second workbook has been activated so this is a deactivate event the third event of a workbook is open workbook event so whenever a workbook is open uh, you can uh, trigger something on that event also so let us uh, delete this thing right now go to workbook here and then by default it adds uh, open event otherwise you can select from the drop down list also the name of sub procedure is private sub procedure workbook underscore open another important thing to uh, know is why it is a private sub procedure because this is uh, this uh, sub procedure or this method you are not going to call explicitly or uh, yourself but this would be called internally whenever that event occurs so that is a private sub procedure it is not a public method which you can call at any point of time right so now let's say we print a message box here message box saying welcome Kamal I just saved it and then I close it in the file whenever I am opening the file on opening it gives me that message box so on opening of a workbook this event was called which triggered that sub procedure and therefore it is just playing that message box the next set of events are before save and after save you want to do something when uh, you perform save operation and you want to do before that save actually happens or you want to do something after that save happens so saving a file or saving a workbook is an event so before something you can perform something and before, after saving so you can do something so let us check an example 
in workbook uh, not in worksheet in, in fact you go to workbook and here add before save event so here is before save now you can see other events for not having any arguments in it but before save has few arguments save as uh, save as ui and cancel as boolean right now uh, let us see uh, uh, what what is the value of these two so and how we can use these two values so first of all uh, i am not performing any action on the basis of values but i am just displaying a message box saying uh, document uh, cannot be saved cannot be saved unless you press ok fine so this i have written in before save when i perform save operation using file save now the save has not actually happened before saving the document it has giving me the message box saying this message now if i click on ok it will move further and it will save the document you can also put up your code here okay i want to perform only save if these two uh, conditions are matching or if these uh, conditions are matching so this way you can control this thing now let us see what are the values of save as ui and cancel you can see that both the values are boolean so message box save as ui and then in a message box cancel let us see what are the values of these two so i am again going here file save so the first value is false second value is also false now let us analyze what are these uh, save as ui and cancel variables so first of all i am displaying in the message box the value of save as ui where s is capital right so i go to file and then save it says false now when i do save as it gives me true so the meaning is when i do save operation in that case that save as ui value would be false when i do save as that value would be true so this way i can differentiate if user pressed save in that case i want to do something and if user pressed save as i want to do something else so you can control through your logic here Similarly, if you do not want to uh, uh, save at all, there is a cancel operation also. So by default, the value of cancel is false. If you see here, message box, cancel, and when you go to file and then save, it is false. Now, when you make it true, let's say cancel is equal to true, you are forcefully setting it to true. Now see what happens. I'm putting my name here I'm just making changes to some of the cells and then I'm clicking on save you see it uh, didn't uh, pop up any uh, message and I close it you can see it is again asking me for saving the changes but I pressed on save it it actually didn't save because it executed that sub procedure and it cancelled my save because I implicitly set the variable uh, value to false now if i try to click on save 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 it won't allow me to save because i have forced it to not to save the file so i cannot save this file ever so similarly for after save if you want to do something after saving the file first of all save action would get completed once the save is completed then this event would be triggering this sub procedure so i can display in a message box changes saved this can be used uh, like uh, uh, let's say you want to maintain logs uh, who has uh, saved uh, uh, or made the changes in the file and uh, pressed on save and also keeping the log of their ip addresses usernames whatever uh, whatever you can uh, keep track of it using this so for the timing we are just uh, displaying a message box saying after save we make some changes we press save it gives me a message box after saving the changes now there are no changes left for save I can easily close it 
And if you talk about the last three window activate, window deactivate, window resize, these two are similar to activate and deactivate. And the third one is resize. Let us see, we have added three sub procedures. One is for activate, one is for deactivate, one is for resize. Uh, let's say I resize my uh, workbook here. So it gives me a message box. Again, maximize it, it again gives me. So any type of resize, whether you increase or decrease the size, it's counted as you have resized the size of your workbook. We are not talking about resize of the application. The outer one is for application. When you resize your application, the workbook would automatically get uh, resized accordingly. But that is not an event for workbook. That is an application uh, resize event. But we are here talking about workbook uh, resize event. So that's why when we resize the application, nothing is happening. When we resize the workbook, it is uh, triggering that method. Same is for uh, activate and deactivate. Now we have four uh, left here in the list before close before print new chart and new sheet now before close and before print these are very clear by their names when you try to close a file before uh, actually closing the file you can trigger uh, something so the sub procedure would be executed and then only uh, the file will be closed similarly when you give a print command before actually sending the print instruction to the uh, printer it will be triggering that sub procedure and then pass on the command to printer new chart and new sheet are again uh, easy to understand by their names when you insert a new chart in excel this event would be triggered would uh, be calling a uh, sub procedure here when you add a sheet this event would be triggered you can see here i have added a new sheet event and i have added a simply displayed in a message box that you have added a sheet let us try to add a worksheet here when we add a worksheet it gives me a message box when I add one more, it again gives me because this is an event for this workbook. So this is all about uh, workbook events. Next, we will be talking about worksheet events.